We are back at it with some more MX bikes, and we are on the aerial test track number two. And I got to be honest with you guys, we have been grinding these uh, test tracks all weekend long, man. I feel like I have put in so many laps, so, so many laps on the test track one. Not as much as the test track number two here. As you guys can see, we're, we're not doing too hot right now. But regardless, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and everything from the last bikes video, man. You guys went absolutely crazy, so I appreciate that for real. I want to talk about that a little bit, uh, especially that video, right? I want to talk about that, so we'll get into that here in a second. But uh, we are on the 250s. Uh, we have tested out a few of the bikes so far. We have tested out the Kawasaki. We tested out the Husky. I like the Husky. I like the Kawasaki. I feel like the KTM and the Husky kind of feel the same. Uh, they kind of feel like the same amount of power. I feel like the Kawasaki is lacking power just a little bit, but it's a it feels a little more stable. I'm going to see what I can find for the 250s. I know Doc is making a Yamaha 250 kit, so we're definitely going to try that one out. And it kind of leads me to a point of like for next year Supercross, man. I feel like every single person I know that is a pro right now is on the 450s. I don't necessarily know that if they're going to be like racing the 450s, right? So in the comments below, I want any pro that watches this video. Let me know which which like bike you guys are going to be racing, man. And also if you're racing 250, let me know which coast so I have a shot. You know what I'm saying? No, but seriously, I feel like every single person that I know is either riding the 450. Uh, I only know a few handful of people that is riding the 250 that I can name off the top of my head. Um, that's a handful. Like, and the first person that comes to mind is a take. That's literally like the actually only person I kind of know that has been rocking the 250s. And he actually put me onto the Kawasaki, man. Um, so big shout out to the boy at Take. Um, and I also want to say a big shout out to the boy Wash for the Husky Kawasaki and um, the KTM setup. I can't think for a second, but I feel like his setups are amazing. So big shout out to the boy right there. Um, but no, that kind of like, like, what do we do? Like, I feel like we're not quick enough for the 450 class, you know? Like, I, I feel like if we put in the hours and stuff, we are. But then again, like, the 250 class is usually, like, the stackest class there is, man. They're so freaking fast. And that's why, like, I went to the 450 class. I felt like we had a little bit better of a shot. But everybody is moving up. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know their reasoning behind that. Couldn't you guys just stay down in the 250 class, man? Uh, because, let's be real, we're going to be struggling regardless whether that's on 250s or 450s. But yeah, I'm just kind of up in there. I'm going to see what people, uh, maybe like the preseason races for K-Bell, see what uh, everybody's kind of doing for that. I kind of want to see what everybody's doing and kind of just based off that. That's not saying that we're going to actually have a chance to do anything. You know, that's not saying we're going to qualify or anything like that. But um, I just would love to know what everybody's thinking, at least for Supercross, because I know a lot of the, I know a few people that are already going for 450. So yeah, just in the comments below, if you guys are watching this, let me know, you know, uh, just help, help me out. See what I got to practice on. Uh, I feel like I got to practice on like both bikes anyway. So, um, and then also gives like video ideas for bikes too. I can ride the 250s because I really don't ride 250s for videos. You know, like I don't really do it unless back in the day I did it, but I normally don't do 250 videos, at least for the last like six months, eight months, I've been on the 450 and I haven't even touched this thing. There's just so much more I got to do for the 250 than the 450s. I feel like, but nowadays I feel like the 450 is almost like the 250s where everybody's just kind of like railing everything instead of making everything precise. Um, maybe that's gonna be different when the Supercross tracks come out per se, and only a few people are gonna be able to do like like crazy times, AKA the boy Cam, AKA like that guy is insane right now. Aiden as well, dude, Casanova as well. Doc as well, man, Doc's been grinding. So like, um, yeah, there's a lot of good people out there that I know that are gonna be just top tier, you know? So um, I just gotta make it a make a decision, see what happens. But that kind of leads me into my, my next point and uh, we, since we've been grinding all weekend long, uh, a lot of people have been playing, you know, since it's like a holiday break and stuff. Um, and the boy Cam actually created a scrims only, pro server only, like Discord for us to do races for like pro players. Um, I've heard from Mix that there was actually another server just like this. Uh, shout out to the boy Chicken. Uh, he had one back in the day. I don't know if it still goes on, but this is like my first time being a part of one per se. Um, I guess I just wasn't fast enough for you chicken. This is actually pretty cool in my opinion like scrims Basically for MX bikes, you know, um, I don't know if it's gonna happen every day I don't I don't think it would maybe it will maybe not but I know that he wants like the top like 50 50 guys I would assume he wants to he wants it kind of populated So that way like the server can constantly run and the main reason why he was doing it is so like 
we didn't have like crazy hazards in like the race and we can actually get some really good practice in and i actually love that idea i feel like sometimes sometimes the lobbies can be a little body sometimes like the the guys that are just like starting out on on the game and stuff kind of get in the way not saying that's a bad thing uh, but i feel like if some players want to get like pro practice in um for them they kind of hate it right i think as a streamer uh we kind of like don't care right i think we're just kind of having fun with it i actually like the idea that cam's doing um i'm definitely gonna be a part of it i was already in it uh earlier today for a few races I'm absolutely down bad. Um, he started a race as soon as I got into the lobby and I haven't even like warmed up on bikes, you know, I was literally playing Call of Duty. Um, but no, I actually really think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good practice, man. To see where we are stacked up um, as well as like, just like try to get better at like these tracks, you know, even like this test track, I know I can get better. I still don't have like an under minute lap time. I'm pretty sure on that test one over there. Like I'm pretty sure I don't even have a minute under a minute. So definitely got to get some practice in um yeah and it's gonna be fun i i really love the idea that cam's doing so um i'm excited for it like i said earlier thank you guys so much for the love that you guys showed on the live stream that we did uh for bikes man uh it was it was actually a lot of fun i haven't done it in such a long time that like uh, it felt good to be back on there hanging out with you guys i think we kind of got bored of bikes pretty quickly though like an hour and a half stream and i was like all right i'm i'm already tired of playing i want to go play call of duty or something um but overall uh i thought it was I thought it was a lot of fun and i'm excited to do more especially in like 2024 i'm excited to do more and say if this video gets another like 50 60 likes say if this video gets another 60 likes we'll do another live stream at the end of the week but with that being said i want to know what you guys think about the last video that we posted because it was races from the live stream i thought the races were <laughs> we had a good start in one of them and then like the other one was kind of bad but um it was like the best two I would say best ones commentary wise also like funny wise and stuff like that but that kind of like just leads me to the like wondering what you guys want to see from like the live streams you guys want to see like the best races from the live streams you guys want to see the funny races from the live streams do you guys want it like cut up do you guys want it uh like full full races like kind of what we did in that video um or like kind of like a mixture between just like all funny moments from the streams because i'm asking you guys because I was editing that video and I personally didn't like that video as much, me personally, because I'm so used to just doing these videos where I'm just talking to you guys. And I just felt like it felt awkward to post that because I didn't, I, like me personally, I didn't like it as much. Um, and I was like, I was honestly like dreading posting it. And it's one of my better videos. I don't even know why it's doing well. Um, I should have just had faith in you guys. But I just like, I just kind of want to know because i could definitely do that for the live streams maybe we put together like our two best our best races and post that as a video um say we're live streaming a seto maybe do like a session uh on the on the video or something like that right but uh yeah that's that's what i kind of want to know i just like if you guys liked like the live stream races and stuff uh we could definitely post that or like say like we try to do a challenge in that we could definitely like post the full things the reason why i'm asking as well is because like all our normal videos are like talking videos you know and like we have like something to talk about and in those type of videos and like the streams and stuff i'm not really having like a conversation with you guys unless like we're like in between races and stuff i'm normally kind of just like focus and i know in the past like we obviously posted like racing videos and, and stuff like that but recently we we don't really do that we just kind of do like our vibe and stuff um but yeah i just kind of want to know like if you guys like like the commentary stuff or would you guys want to see like it broken up with like some of the racing some commentary uh assetto sim stuff like that and um honestly i just i would love some feedback on it because like i said i was kind of like dreading it almost posting it i almost like redid the video three times i'm not even gonna lie with you guys i almost just like said chalk it delete it and did a talking video instead of just posting it and i'm, I'm obviously glad that it got posted because it's one of my better videos and i should have just I just should have just had more faith, you know, um, that's, that's my fault. And I was just like kind of doubting it. Um, but yeah, I just would love some feedback on it, man. That's all I'm really asking. Just, just let me know what you guys like and what you guys want from like the stream for videos and stuff. Um, cause I'll definitely, definitely give them to you guys. You know, I just appreciate anybody commenting on those videos, liking those videos, watching those videos. It does honestly mean a lot to me, you know, um, 
It, it really does. So I'm really, really grateful that you guys have been enjoying the content. As of late, dude, the numbers are going crazy again. So I just appreciate every single one of you guys. And I hope you guys, I hope everybody had a, a wonderful, wonderful holiday break. Uh, for me, I had like a four day break from work and stuff. And it went by way too freaking fast, man. Holy crap. It's already Sunday night when I'm recording this. And I got work in the morning. I do not want to go to work, man. Um, holidays like go way too fast. Like what? Why? Like I want to have like a holiday for at least six months. You know what I'm saying? That would be fire. If we ever got to full-time content, that's basically what it would be. You know, it'd be like a holiday for life, you know, because this would be like a dream job, you know? So, um, but no, I just hope everybody had a great, great weekend. For me personally, I had a, a wonderful chill weekend, man. We got to watch sports and basically every single day. We got to play a lot of Call of Duty, which I love right now. Uh, we played a lot, a lot of bikes, which I've been enjoying as well. Um, and honestly, we just had a really good, really good weekend, man. And I'm, I'm hoping that everybody else did as well. And I also want to say thank you guys so much for the love on the Seto video from yesterday. You guys are killing it with that, man. Uh, it's really fun to do. I think the next Seto that video that we do, we're going to do it on controller um let's see and test out how we feel like that i know my boy echo has been playing on it peak's been playing on it uh, i think it would be a lot of fun at least make a video on it and then go back to wheel and see like just how big of a difference we it is for me personally uh especially like see like how good we are with controller compared to wheel i, I think that would be really really cool um and then obviously tomorrow i'm gonna be posting a sim video we're gonna go to round two and try to see if we can qualify for the amateur at least at times uh from last year I, I think that is going to be so much fun to just continue with until next year for Supercross and continue with that as well. Um, uh, I'm super excited to see what we can do because I actually finally figured out like the whoops for Sim um, the other day. And honestly, I haven't been back on it since, but um, it should be good. It should be fire. And I hope you guys enjoy that one as well. It's going to be good. Um, but thank you guys so much for the love on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for the love on the recent videos, the shorts, TikToks, man, everything, man. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Monday. We'll be back at it Tuesday with the video. I uh, appreciate you guys for real. Thank you guys so much for the love. And um, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.